Today's video is brought to you by StoryboardThat.com. Please visit TeacherCast.net slash StoryboardThat for a limited time offer. Hello there. Thank you for watching today's screencast from TeacherCast University. This is the sixth video in our online series called KidBlog, an introduction to blogging with your students. My name is Jeff Bradbury and I am the host of the TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network. In today's look at kidblog.org, we will discuss the media library and demonstrate how to add photos and video into your kid blog posts. Here we are in the post editor. I have created my blog, added a title, and added a header photo. What I would like to do next is add some images and video to this post. I have an image on my computer that I would like to add to this post. To add the post, simply click the upload button to the right side of the menu. I'm going to navigate to the words my computer on the left side and here I am presented with two methods of importing and uploading files. First, I can simply take an image file from my desktop and drag it into this space by first clicking on the image and hovering over the shaded rectangle. The second method is to click the choose file button to open our file browser. Once we choose our image of our choice, KidBlog will automatically upload the image and place it into the media library. You can see the details about your file by clicking on the edit button. Once you click on the edit button, you can use the powerful KidBlog graphic editor to adjust the photo and create the perfect image for your post. Here we can change our contrast up and down. Hit apply. Here we can change the orientation. Here we can add some stickers to it. This is a really neat feature. I'll click apply. When you have your image exactly the way you want it, click the save button to return to the media library. You can see that KidBlog has made a duplicate image of our file. This allows you to have your original image as well as the altered file available for future posts. When we have the image exactly the way we want it, click the insert button to bring it into our posts. Once your image is in the post, you can do several things to it. The most common thing you will want to do with it is link the image to a website of your choice. To do so, simply click on the image and click on the link URL button in your post menu. The second most common thing you may want to do with your image is to move it around your post. To do so, simply click on the image and then click it again and hold down your mouse button to move it anywhere on the post canvas. KidBlog makes working with video very easy. The easiest way of using video is to first upload your video to either YouTube or Vimeo then embedding that video into your kid blog post. In this video, we will discuss and demonstrate two ways of bringing in video through YouTube. We will discuss Vimeo and other Web 2.0 tools in a separate video. You can see here that we have a post with our text. We would like to enhance this post by first adding video. There are two ways of bringing in video through YouTube. The first is to embed the video directly into the HTML tab and the second one is to use KidBlog's powerful O-Embed feature to insert video using the Visual tab. Video. To find and copy the HTML embed code, we must first click on Share and then Embed. We can then choose the appropriate size and copy the HTML code. To place this code into KidBlog, we must first click on the HTML tab in our post editor. We can then scroll down to exactly where in the blog we wish the video to appear and then paste the code. By clicking on the visual tab, we can see a gray box where the YouTube video is going to appear. We can then view the video and click it for accuracy by clicking on the review button. 
The second method of inserting video from YouTube is to use what's called an O-embed. Instead of capturing the long string of HTML code and pasting it into the HTML tab in your post editor, simply find a video on YouTube you wish to use and copy the URL from the top of your internet browser. Then, while in the visual tab in your post editor, paste the URL in a single line all by itself. When you click on the review tab, you will see the YouTube video pop up. There are several great Web 2.0 tools such as YouTube, Vimeo, SlideShare, and others that have O-Embed features in KidBlog, and we will cover these in great detail in a future video. The complete video series to this online course can be found on our website, teachercast.net slash learnkidblog. I hope you take a moment to browse this and all of our online tutorials over at teachercastuniversity.com and teachercast.net. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, click on the like button below and leave us a comment. If you wish to receive more videos from TeacherCast, please click the subscribe button on the top left of this video box and visit TeacherCast.net for more information about Google and other great educational tools. Don't forget to catch TeacherCast live every Sunday night at 7 p.m. as we bring you the Tech Educator Podcast on TeacherCast.tv. We want to take a moment here and say thank you to everybody out there who's watching or listening to the TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network. There's, of course, several great ways that you can participate in TeacherCast each and every week. We love it when you find us on Twitter, at TeacherCast. Like us on Facebook over at TeacherCast.net slash Facebook. Subscribe to our many audio channels and video channels over on iTunes. Email us at feedback at TeacherCast.net. Find us on Pinterest. And, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel at TeacherCast.net slash YouTube. The TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network. What do you want to learn today?